Well, greetings, Church. Pastor John Horsen here again, and we continue in our, our little series on marriage. It's great to be with you after our little isolation stint, and uh, we thank God for His healing in our lives. And we continue, uh, Church, in uh, this, as I said, this marriage uh, series, and I do trust that you would be impacted by God's grace and love in your life and that you would apply it in your marriages shall we pray and before we do don't you want to turn to the book of Galatians again and we'll read Galatians 6 and verse 2 shall we pray Almighty Father we are grateful for your special protecting love that overwhelms us, that guides and leads us. And Father, today we pray that you would reveal to us, as only you can, through your Holy Spirit, Lord, your truth. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. Now, Church, Remember we spoke about the protection and protecting others can come easily for some, but not so for others. And we also spoke about that wonderful truth of protecting our spouse or we also protect our marriage. And we, we went into, uh, into the first point of, of growing through conflict and, and that we agreed that conflict, conflict was inevitable. I want to talk a little bit about honesty, gentle honesty, if you will, today. And, and the truth is that honesty is vital to a relationship. Let's look at what God's word says, shall we? Galatians 6 and verse 2. Bear one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. And then the book of 1 John 3 and verse 18. And remembering you can always pause this recording and find it. And then we can read it together. Feel free to pause it. 1 John 3 verse 18. And as per usual, I read from the New King James Version. My little children, let us not love in word or in tongue, but in deed and in truth. So, so Mary should always have have this culture, if you will, of honesty. And this can only be built if both believe that being honest is really necessary. Often we don't want to be completely honest because of fear. Fear that, that we'll be rejected, perhaps, by our spouse. Fear that we'll be ridiculed. Fear that it'll break down trust. It could also be at times that we, we don't want to hurt our spouse with the truth. We think avoiding the truth will stop the pain. But in the end, what it really does is it only causes more. You see, being honest with our spouse, protects our marriage from deception and indeed the deceiver. If we are honest with the little things, that will lead us to be honest in all things. In the book of Luke, chapter 16, and verse 10. Luke 16 and verse 10 from the New King James Version reads as follows. He who is faithful in what is least is faithful also in much. And he who is unjust in what is least is unjust also in much. 
Church, if we're honest in the little things, it's going to lead us to be honest in all things. Don't you want to take an honest look at your marriage? Don't you want to ask the Holy Spirit to, to reveal to you with all of his honesty the culture of your marriage and whether there is deception or whether there is honesty. I'm going to pause this recording now and don't you want to seek God's faith right now. Let's pause. Thank you, church. And now I want you to go, after seeking the Holy Spirit, I want you to sit with your spouse, I want you to pray together, and I want you to, to relate with each other in all honesty. And then have a look at those areas that you feel you need to, you need to adjust under the unction of the Holy Spirit, so that you can be honest with each other. And so that's the bulltong that we need to chew today. What areas do you need to, to improve in your relationship with regard to your honesty? What areas do you need to improve in your relationship with regard to honesty? Let's pray, church. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this time, for who you are. We thank you, Lord, that you are an honest not a deceiving God, that you're not like man or the son of man, that you'll lie or deceive or change your mind. When you say it, it is so. And so, Father, we pray through the Holy Spirit that you'll reveal, that you'll challenge and that you'll allow us to apply the truth of the living word in our marriages. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. God bless you, church. God turn his face toward you and grant you his glorious peace. Have a fantastic day.